Terve ja hyvää päivää. This is Mika and I'm attempting to solve the final level of TS1, which is a custom chips challenge set by Tyler Sontag. This level is called Carnival and it has this crazy monster manipulation section at the start. Right now the bug and paramecium are interacting with each other and eventually they both try to step on the force floor at the same time and the paramecium wins and the bug is directed in my direction so I can get it to the bomb and then I have to go back and ferry this paramecium over to hit the tank button before coming over here and blowing up the final bomb. This section is not possible exactly like this in MS. For example the paramecium would die in the fire. However in Lynx you get away with one trip to the tank button. Let's see if I can remember this next section now. Oh no! No! You... Well, I, I can remember it, but I just can't perform it. Let's see, it didn't lose too much time there, I hope. Uh, I didn't go for the second block slap there, because it only saves like a move, and I'm not going for the best time here. If I were, I'd have to figure out what exact step I need to enter this room, and that's just too much of a pain as well. This room does feel harder in Lynx than it does in MS. Some of the timing is more precise. But there, let's hope I get all the chips at the bottom. Because in... No, that didn't have to be that way. In MS you can just... Uh, boost backwards, but here in Lynx... You can't. Oh, I just made it in time. <laughs> Here we go. And now, going back with the block is a bit tricky. I like to wait here long enough to give me a little bit of space. And here's a safe spot that's not safe in MS. And let's hope I can remember this la last section. I remember the first time I solved the level I was so careful in this area because I didn't know where the appearing walls were but now I should be able to get through this unscathed. Here we go. If I solve it now I'm going to try the MS as well. Though I'll have to look up the beginning part for that. Whoops. Do I have everything? I should. Yeah. There we go. While that link solution was created today, I looked up how I dealt with these monsters in an earlier MS solution, and I'm just going to follow that method here instead of looking for a new one. Even though this mm. isn't probably the quickest way to do this section. The fireball is directed into a bomb, and I'm waiting for the glider to uh, also do the same, clearing up a little bit of a path for the paramecium later on. I'm freeing up these two guys, putting the block in place to force the bug one tile lower, which helps later on, and as paramecium goes into the bomb, I can press the tag button. Now I have access to all three blocks. This one I won't need for a while, so I'll put it over there. And now I can return the tank to its starting position and have access again to the three bombs below it. First I'll ferry the bug over there and then come back for the two bombs. And for my troubles I will be rewarded by a green key. <laughs> In all honesty, Chip should really never lose a green key. He should keep it on him at all times because he needs it on so many levels. Why does he ever pick up a green key and then uh, not have it with him when he comes to the next level? I don't get it. I only control Chip. I am not him. Mm. Who says I can't boost? Well, I do. <laughs> Let's hope I don't die in the bottom section where I still need some timing. 
here I don't remember if I should wait as I do in links but I, don't, I guess it doesn't matter here we go oh that turned out nice No. And go. Chip, one chip left. I don't remember how timing here worked with MS since I last played it in links. Let's hope this is okay. Yeah. And now watch me die here in the fire. <laughs> that would be great. This is a pretty area. I probably said that in the links uh, portion of this video already. Here we go. I have all the keys, good. What a crazy level. But as all good things, it comes to an end. No, one second away from 600. <laughs>